Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Birmingham, Alabama, it's time for Birmingham Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Birmingham Business Radio, and this is going to be a good one. Today, we have with us Taliba Bales with TMB Tax and Financial Services. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, before we get too far into things, tell us about TMB Tax and Financial Services. How are you serving folks? We are a action and advisory tax firm. What we do is we provide tax filing. We do bookkeeping, payroll. Uh, we do uh, financial uh, consulting. We have uh, two programs for CEOs. One of them is the Get Bankable Movement, and the second is the Scale Up HQ. Uh, and in both instances, we uh, go hand in hand on the ground with the CEO. We are uh, getting the CEO established in an accounting system if they do not have one. Uh, we're having uh, monthly consults on numbers, establishing goals, uh, and we are connecting partners to get folks financed. So we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Now, what drew you to serving the small business marketplace? Well, I guess the simplest answer is uh, that small business runs in my family. Uh, When I grew up, my mom and dad had an office supply store on 2nd Avenue North here in Birmingham. And I like to say I grew up there uh, because I truly did. Um, when, When your parents are small business owners, that almost becomes a second or third home for you. And uh, so after school, I was there doing homework or all the way up through high school, really. And uh, and so my uncles have businesses Uh, right now. My cousin has a restaurant in Woodlawn, uh, Bell's Catering and Restaurant. And so small business is just what we do. Um, And so I uh, didn't start as a small business owner. I actually, uh, after I graduated John Carroll, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, uh, and attended Fisk University, where I did get poli science Spanish as my degrees. And so I was everything. I wanted to go to D.C. I wanted to to do politics. I wanted to um, just get that experience. And so I did move to D.C. I went to grad school uh, at George Washington Elliott School of International Affairs, Uh, After I graduated there, I got an awesome opportunity to work on Capitol Hill. And then after that, I I worked for the Department of Justice for 12 years. Uh, So I am a true hybrid (laughs) in the sense of uh, I recently returned back home to do 100 percent entrepreneur. Uh, And so uh, just again, just merging my uh, civil service experience, my government experience with my small business experience. I am finding that extremely uh, a powerful asset during these times for small business owners. Now, I'm sure that that experience helped you serve your clients in terms of helping them kind of work through some of this um, disaster relief uh, efforts that have been going on through the pandemic. Did that help at all? Oh, it absolutely did. It absolutely did. Um, you know, once you've been a, a working for the federal government for as long as I was, um, you you get to know uh, the right way to submit stuff, the right connections to make, um, you know, and, and having those templates really becomes valuable and knowing uh, when and where to collaborate. And so, uh, yes, that definitely has been an asset. When you're dealing with... Um business owners that are trying to navigate, uh, you know, through the pandemic, and you know that you have access to this kind of financial help, is there any advice you can give them, maybe baby steps they can take on their own, or is this something you really need uh, kind of an expert to help you navigate? No, I think you can absolutely do some of the things, you know, on your own. Uh, Where we start with business owners is just making sure that they understand the importance of having an accounting system, an accounting software. And so TNB Tax and Financial Services is an authorized Intuit and QuickBooks solution provider. So we use that asset to um, to get business owners into a QuickBooks product so that they can start looking at their numbers. Because when it comes to uh, being uh, bankable, as I said, one of our programs, 
in order for you to be bankable and to know what to request for these loans, to know if you're eligible for these loans, and even just uh, past uh, disaster relief funding, you have to know your numbers. And so that is certainly something that business owners can do. QuickBooks is is very user friendly and uh, customized for the small business owner, uh, the various online softwares as well as desktop. So that's absolutely what I say um, should be that first that first step. Like if they want to take the helm, you know, it is uh, you can do that through a QuickBooks product. Now let's talk about that bankable movement. Is that to help that person who has never done this before just get that? A solid foundation when they start? That's where it starts. Uh, the Get Bankable movement starts at that conversation. Um, obviously, because uh, our primary tax is in our, our business name, a lot of individuals, uh, particularly here recently, um, have uh, approached us in the sense of navigating tax compliance. Like, what is that? Or even, you know, I haven't done my taxes yet. Um, I haven't done my taxes for a few years, you know, whatever that scenario is. Um, you know, folks are coming to us and getting that understanding, that expertise as it relates to uh, taxes. And that's where a lot of the conversations has started. But of course, when you're running a business, it is a holistic approach. So it's not just going to be making sure that your business is tax compliant. It's going to be, again, seeing those numbers um, throughout the year and not just through tax time. So get bankable. That conversation starts there. Uh, What are your numbers? What is your tax compliance? And then we uh, talk to business owners about really, again, leveraging each piece, each moving piece of their business. So understanding uh, lendability, Uh, are you able to uh, qualify for something as basic as as a vendor trade? You know, what is your business credit like? Do you have a business credit reporting for you uh, on your business credit reports. So it is a a holistic financial conversation. And we're finding that um, for for the most immediate need, uh, it uh, started with startups, you know, and businesses that I like to say are zero to three years in existence. But really, you know, with COVID and us being able to provide the asset of SBA disaster relief loan packaging, you know, that's existing businesses, you know. So Get Bankable also encompasses businesses who found themselves on the sidelines as it related to uh, SBA disaster lendability, uh, whether that be because they didn't have a, a formal payroll system, you know, PPP was payroll you know, and or taxes. So we uh, found ourselves, you know, uh, on on the, the battlefield, as I say, as it relates to that conversation, because, you know, we were helping people uh, get their taxes filed. We were helping people establish uh, formal payroll systems. So moving forward, you know, uh, when uh, the next session of Congress starts January 2021, you know, hopefully our businesses that that were on the sidelines during this this uh, previous round uh, would be able to get access to that much needed capital uh, in the future. And this is a great time to do that work if you haven't done it already, right? So that you are prepared when Absolutely. January rolls around, you 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 can kind of just take advantage of that rather than start from scratch. Then it, it's almost too late. At Absolutely, that point. absolutely. That is that is the message. That is the call to action for business owners is to know that we have, you know, a fourth quarter here where we've already, it's already started, obviously, you know, but we can push out uh, the final months of this year. We can get those systems in place now, properly set up now. We can get your accounting system properly set up now. Now, for the folks that are maybe uh, established, you have a program to help them kind of get to the next level. Can you talk about that scale-up program? Absolutely. And so that both of these programs, let me say, um, just, oh my gosh, just reemphasize and reignite uh, my passion for why, you know, we're doing this in our business. But we have some rock stars in the scale-up program uh, that are experiencing growth right now. There are businesses very much so that have, um, you know, experienced growth during these 
challenging times. And so we are steadily enrolling business owners into that program, um, even, you know, up to this morning. And so the scale up program um, is for businesses that uh, have a heavier focus on uh, forecasting and forward thinking in the sense of uh, tax planning strategies. Those are some of the businesses that, again, have realized a profit and are now identifying um, tax planning strategies to uh, whether it be minimize tax liability or simply to experience some some benefits in investing in a, in a 401k or, uh, you know, if it's uh, optimizing their business entity right now and switching to an S-Corp, but really a heavier focus on uh, forward-thinking tax planning strategies is what we are offering uh, to the uh, folks in Scale Up. Now, if somebody wants to learn more, whether they're a startup or an established business, and they are looking for a trusted advisor like yourself to take their business either off the ground or to the next level, what's the best way to get a hold of you? They can reach me uh, on Facebook, our business page. If you were just to do that at TMB Taxes LLC, uh, then you will be able to pull up our um, our our business Facebook page. Uh, we also can be reached on Instagram, TMB Tax. Try to keep it simple. Uh, so if you search TMB Tax, even in your Google bar, uh, Birmingham, Alabama, you're going to find us. And that is the way to get in touch with us in the quickest manner. And the website is trusttmbtaxes.com, right? Yes, it is. Well, thank you so much, Taliba, for sharing your story. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We will see you all next time on Birmingham Business Radio. Business Radio.